have you ever wondered what it takes for a movie to get banned in countries around the world? These movies pushed the boundaries of what was deemed acceptable on the big screen. But what exactly made them so controversial? Get ready, because we're about to take a deep dive into the most notorious and taboo movies that were banned across the globe. Number 1. A Clockwork Orange, 1971 I was cured, all right. But the film was banned in several countries due to its controversial and violent content. A Clockwork Orange, directed by Stanley Kubrick, is a dystopian film that portrays a young man, Alex, and his gang of droogs committing acts of violence and sexual assault. The film was so controversial that it was even linked to a real-life crime. In 1993, a 16-year-old boy in the UK, who was said to be obsessed with the film, beat a homeless man to death while singing Singin' in the Rain, a song featured in the movie. This incident prompted the British Board of Film Classification to temporarily ban the film. The movie has also been banned in Singapore, South Africa, and other countries. Despite its controversy, A Clockwork Orange remains a cult classic, and its impact on pop culture is undeniable. The film, based on the novel by Anthony Burgess, takes place in a futuristic society where youth violence is rampant, and the government tries to control it through a new experiment called the Ludovico Technique. The protagonist, Alex, is subjected to this treatment, which involves conditioning him to feel nauseated whenever he experiences violence or sexual arousal. However, this leaves him defenseless when he is later subjected to violence himself leading him to question the morality of the government's actions. A Clockwork Orange is a complex film that touches on themes such as free will, violence, and government control. Kubrick's vision for the film was to create a dystopian feature that reflected the anxieties of the present. The film's iconic imagery and soundtrack, which includes classical music and synthesized sound effects, have influenced pop culture for decades. A Clockwork Orange remains a thought-provoking film that challenges viewers to question their own moral values and beliefs. Number 2. Saw 6 2009 and Saw 3D 2010 Hello. Do you want to play a game? But the game was too much for some countries. Saw 6 2009 and Saw 3D 2010 were banned in several countries due to their extreme violence and gore. The Saw franchise is known for its intricate and brutal death traps, but these two movies take it to a whole new level. Saw 6 was banned in Trinidad and Tobago and Thailand, while Saw 3D was banned in Germany, Malaysia, and Singapore. The film's gruesome scenes and lack of a moral message have been criticized by some, but fans of the series have praised its creativity and unpredictability. The Saw franchise began in 2004 and has since spawned eight films. The movies feature a killer known as Jigsaw, who traps people in elaborate death traps and forces them to play deadly games to survive. The franchise has become known for its twisted puzzles, dark humor, and over-the-top gore. Saw 6 focuses on the issue of healthcare and insurance policies. In the film, Jigsaw targets a group of insurance executives who denied coverage to a man with terminal cancer. Saw 3D, on the other hand, is the final film in the franchise and focuses on Jigsaw's apprentice continuing his legacy. Both films feature complex storylines and unexpected twists, which have made the franchise a hit with horror fans. While the Saw franchise is not for the faint of heart, it has become a cultural phenomenon in the horror genre. Its intricate plots, gruesome traps, and iconic villain have made it a staple of Halloween horror movie marathons. The franchise's impact can be seen in popular culture, such as video games, comics, and even a Saw-themed escape room. Number 3. Zoolander 2001 Ridiculously good-looking? Zoolander, directed by Ben Stiller, is an hilarious satire on the fashion industry. Following the story of Derek Zoolander, played by Stiller, a dim-witted male model who is brainwashed by a fashion mogul to assassinate the Prime Minister of Malaysia. The film's humor is largely driven by the absurdity of the characters, the fashion industry, and the situations they find themselves in. Despite being a commercial success, 
the movie received mixed reviews from critics, with some calling it a shallow and unfunny parody of the fashion world. However, Zoolander has since become a cult classic, and its impact on pop culture is undeniable. From Derek Zoolander's signature blue steel look to quotes like, Not an ambi turner. And, What is this? A center for ants? The movie has left a lasting impression on audiences. Zoolander was banned in several countries, including Malaysia, where the government objected to the film's portrayal of a plot to assassinate the prime minister. The ban was lifted after several scenes were cut, but the movie still faced controversy in other parts of the world for its satirical take on the fashion industry. Despite this, Zoolander's quirky humor and memorable characters have secured its place as a cult classic in the world of comedy, and it remains a must-watch for anyone looking for a good laugh. So strike a pose and get ready to laugh out loud. After all, moisture is the essence of wetness, and wetness of beauty. Number 4. Fifty Shades of Grey, 2015 Mr. Grey will see you now. But not everyone was eager to accept his invitation. Fifty Shades of Grey, based on the novel by E. L. James, caused controversy for its portrayal of BDSM relationships and sexual content. The film follows the relationship between college student Anastasia Steele and billionaire Christian Grey as they explore BDSM practices. Despite being a commercial success, the film was criticized for its inaccurate portrayal of BDSM culture culture, which emphasizes consent and communication between partners. Many viewers found the relationship between Anastasia and Christian to be abusive, with Christian exhibiting controlling and manipulative behavior. The film's sequels, Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Free, were also met with criticism for their handling of sensitive topics such as domestic abuse and mental health. In addition to criticism from viewers, Fifty Shades of Grey also faced challenges from censorship boards. The film was banned in Malaysia and Indonesia for its sexual content, and faced cuts and age restrictions in other countries such as Kenya, Cambodia, and Zimbabwe. Despite the controversy, the film's popularity sparked a resurgence in BDSM-themed media and discussions about consent in sexual relationships. Number 5. The Exorcist, 1973 the, power of Christ you. the Exorcist is a classic horror film that still manages to terrify audiences to this day. The movie tells the story of a young girl named Reagan who becomes possessed by a demon, leading her mother to seek the help of two priests to perform an exorcism. The film's realistic and graphic depictions of demonic possession and exorcism have made it one of the most disturbing movies ever made. Directed by William Friedkin, The Exorcist was adapted from the novel of the same name by William Peter Blatty. The movie was a critical and commercial success, earning 10 Academy Award nominations and winning two, including Best Adapted Screenplay. However, the film's controversial subject matter and graphic content caused outrage and protests from some religious groups and conservative organizations, as a result of which the movie was banned in certain parts of the United Kingdom. Despite this, The Exorcist was a box office hit, grossing over 400 million worldwide. What sets The Exorcist apart from other horror films is its realism. The filmmakers consulted with religious experts and doctors to ensure that the exorcism scenes were as accurate and as believable as possible. The use of practical effects and makeup also adds to the movie's realism, making the possessed Reagan look truly terrifying. The film's haunting soundtrack and eerie atmosphere also contribute to its scare factor. The Exorcist has had a lasting impact on popular culture, with references and homages to the film appearing in everything from music videos to TV shows. It also spawned two sequels, as well as a prequel and a TV series. Despite the controversy and its reputation as one of the most disturbing movies ever made, The Exorcist remains a classic of the horror genre and a testament to the power of cinema to frighten and disturb audiences.